So, in the previous uh, testimony that I gave about the way Jesus Christ appeared unto me at JKIA, at the waving base of Jomo Kenyatta International Airport here in Nairobi City, I, I did mention that uh, the Lord appeared unto me and uh, he, he told me that I'm not alone, he is together with me. Actually, that one word comforted me so much that I decided uh, that I will go back home at, uh, after all and I will be able to just be patient and uh, persevere on the su in the sufferings that I was going through back at home. Uh, and as I was continuing to do that, remember that time I was in class 6, I was 12 years of age, I was still a young boy. And we, so I cleared for class 8, I was actually the best boy in our school. Then after that, I remember that when I went to secondary school, it was another tough life because there were a lot of struggles. The people who had, you know, bewitched my mom, they had declared themselves as our enemies. You may, I don't want to get into details on how she was bewitched because it is in the previous testimony that I gave. If you look at part one of my testimony, you will find out how uh, she actually was bewitched and she died. So yeah, I just referred to her, uh, to, the, to, the, to the incidents that she was bewitched. And then the sons of the woman who had bewitched my mom decided to follow up with me. They said that I seem to be bright uh, and so I might be the one who will come and give them trouble so they have to eliminate me as early as possible. And so they began to pay us, uh, to pay me a visit at school uh, in Form 1 and then in Form 2. By the time I was in Form 3, they intensified the visits and we used to chat a lot with them in their car because I thought that oh, these guys are very good guys and they began to give me some money. What I didn't know is that uh, they were actually pulling me closer to a place where they can, they can actually uh, began, begin to, to strike. And so after a while, I began to have some very funny feelings in school. I, I would just, uh, and I began to behave, you know, in a, in a weird manner. I, I, a boy who used to be very obedient to teachers, now I was there speaking the forbidden vernacular language and, uh, you know, answering back to my teachers and threatening to beat up some of them. But I was very tiny and very small, but I used to scare many of them because I, I think it was a, a, an evil spirit that was, had been cast on me that was at work in me because after I, do, I, I did something that was uh, terrible. I would, you know, be released from that uh, spirit that uh, was coming over me. And then I would cry a lot. But the people out there were thinking that I am a hero. I have been doing, you know, these things because I am a hero. But I know it is not because I was a hero. There was a power, a bondage that was working in my life. An evil spirit that had been cast unto me. So when I was in, uh, form, in form 4, uh, I was only in class for two months because I had become such a nuisance in school and so the teachers could not understand me anymore and so I was just communicated from school. I went back home then I came back to sit for my KCSE exam. But by that time I had already, you know, began to really get deeper into drugs and uh, especially into alcohol and uh, bank smoking. Uh, but after clearing from four, I was not able to remain back, to, to remain at home because by that time I had already known that my enemies are out to destroy me completely. And I knew that if I give them a chance, I would just be killed, I would die before my time, I would die before I accomplished anything that I thought I should accomplish. And so I decided to escape from home. I even left the results. I didn't even pick the results from school. I ran to Nairobi town, at uh, Nairobi city. I came, I began to do some many jobs there. And then after a few months, I realized that they had actually known where I was. So I decided to escape even further. So from Nairobi, I went to Arusha in Tanzania and I thought that I had hidden myself completely. They would not know where I, I was. And, and I, I thought that you can escape from witches by running from one place to another. But I was mistaken. These are spiritual things. And in the spiritual realm, there is no distance. You can be bewitched even when you are, you know, five... 500 miles away from where the witch is, or even in another continent. But I didn't know that then, but now I know that you cannot escape 
from the you know the the, the, the battles, the, the fightings and the, the attacks of the enemy by running from one place to another. You can only escape by going to the blood of Jesus Christ. If you hide there, they cannot pick you from the blood of Jesus Christ and begin to torment you anymore. But that time I didn't know. So I went to Arusha, to, 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 to Moshi in Tanzania. I stayed there for nine months. It was unbearable. I began to see these people come in the dreams and they tried to kill me, to strangle me. I would hear voices at night and I would run and enter, you know, into some thorns and I was not able even to live a comfortable life in, in Moshi, Tanzania. And so I decided to escape further. And I went to a place called Namberera in Simanjiro district of Arusha province in Tanzania. And I stayed there. I used to do a lot of funny, funny works there because we used to work in some, some farms. And I, I, I was, one day I thought to myself, I think I, I deserve a better life than this. And so my friends, who are, we were smoking bank with them, that time I had become bank dependent. Let me tell you, at that time I couldn't even know what to do in the morning when I wake up. I would actually wake up and I don't know whether to cook tea or to cook ugali or to do what and I would resort into cooking ugali in the morning. You know, ugali is what we, uh, we, we cook at least for, for, for other meals, maybe lunch or evening. But here I was, you know, thinking that morning was either afternoon or evening. And so I cook ugali in the morning. At that time, I was, my, my, I was very dirty. I was walking around in tattered clothes. My, you know, there was, I, was, I had a lot of lies around my, you know, in every part of my body. I was so dirty, so dirty. I, didn't, I used not to comb my hair and it was, you know, I, was, I just looked like someone who is totally hopeless. But then... At that time, I reasoned to myself, I said, no, I think I have, I, I, can, I can live a better life than this. I tried to consult with one of my friends, and he told me, you can never change your life. We know that there is something wrong with our lives, and we cannot do anything about it. So I was so upset, and I told him, my friend, I will go to Arusha town, and I will do something. And I will come back here a better person. And uh, that, at that time, I had thought to myself, because I have tried to go to church, and God seems not to be helping me at all. He just wants me to get saved and, be a, and uh, to get born again and be a pastor. But then, he is not helping me. I'm being tormented here by witches and other forces and other powers of darkness. I, I, I thought to myself that I go to Arusha, go to a witch doctor, I will get some powers of darkness, I will go back home and revenge against the witches who are, who are troubling us. So I, I boarded uh, one of the lorries that were wearing uh, um, uh, and, uh, uh, the farm produce from that place to Arusha town. And so I came to Arusha town and I, be, I, I consulted with a few people there. I was informed of a witch doctor somewhere in a place called Osariva, Osariva uh, in between Arusha and Moshi. On your way to Moshi, uh, near Kilimanjaro International Airport, there's a place they call Osariva in Tanzania. And so I went there, and I found the witch doctor, and he was a, he was a Muslim, he was, uh, his name was uh, Ibrahim, and he, he, he told me, ah, you guys from Kenya, I know if you are a camper, you know these things, and so I, I know I have no problem with you, just come, and he tried to, to do some, you know, to consult some spirits, to know what is wrong with my life. And so the guy told me that your star has been captured, you cannot be anything in life. So you need to wash your star clean. You need to cleanse it. So he asked for some cash. I paid him and he did. He gave me some phenomenarias that I can go and use and some dust, uh, so, so, some funny, funny things that I can go and mix with water and wash. But let me tell you, the day that I washed with them, the following day, I had begun a small business. Nobody, no, not, not even one person who bought from my, my small business. Up all the way to the evening, a con man came in the evening. A guy who, you know, those uh, people who, who swindle, uh, who, who con people of their money. The guy came and he talked, to, he talked to me and I gave him all the money that I had. By the time I knew that he was actually a con man, he, he had already gone. And so at that time I lost all the money that I had saved from those many jobs. And so the job, uh, actually the business collapsed that day. That is a day after I had gone to a witch doctor. That's why I advise people and tell them, you cannot be fought by the kingdom of the devil. 
and you go again to the same devil to help you fight the same devil, he will kill you. A witch and a witch doctor, they come from the same house. They both belong to the devil. So one of them cannot be helping you when the other one is destroying you. They will, they will conspire against you and destroy you at the end of the day. If the kingdom of the devil fights you, go to the kingdom of God. That kingdom will help you. Because it is another kingdom, it has your welfare at heart. And so I went to that witch doctor that day, nobody bought from my kiosk. So I decided that the following day, now the, third, the second day after I had come from the witch doctor, I decided now let me go and look for a job. Maybe that will be my, 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 my luck. So I went to look for a job. Early in the morning when I arrived at the, at the, at the marketplace, I was arrested. I was taken to central police in Arusha. The whole day, we were kept in there, working, you know, and doing a lot of, uh, you know, uh, work in, in, in the police station. Until evening, when we were released, I was ready to commit suicide. And I, 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 I just went out of the uh, uh, police cell, and I was asking myself, God, why? Why me? Why are all these things happening to me? I thought that you said there are better days ahead, but there is no better day that is coming forth. So I must die today. I decided that I cannot live longer. So when you are released, I thought and I decided, I made up my mind that I must die that day.